What's good, everyone, and uh, welcome back to another FGO FN thing. Uh, I keep forgetting the names of the events when I really need to start remembering them. Anyway, what's going on here? Well, this event has been an interesting one to this point. Honestly, it's a confusing bit in all honesty. Since, uh, even after learning some stuff, I can uh, make some twists and turns. Depending on choices you make. And, yeah. This is, so far, an interesting one. Again, I have to admit, I do like this new duo we have. They seem to bring, uh... <laughs> they seem to make this really interesting, to say the least. Though, uh, I have to admit, I think this might be a lot more different than what I originally thought when I first started doing this. I thought it would be more like the Nobu event where we had this like village, we have to prosper it, and we get like stuff here and there every certain time period. But that doesn't seem to be the case, at least at this moment. I'm gonna have to wait until I get to the end just to be sure about if I'm correct or not about it. Though, in other news, we have Morgan being a now once again, servant that we can summon. And that's great and all. Because if you have seen me, all the previous stuff, Morgan has been one of my go-tos when it comes to surviving her in Heracles. Not because of uh, bias stuff or what not. It was mainly due to the fact that uh, Morgan was more of one of the first five star servants that I have achieved to get. Yeah, she's basically one of the five star servants that I got. Probably the first one I got. Yeah, she was the first one I got. So, yeah. So, uh, some sentimental value right there for her character. And she has saved m me more times than not. Second is her abilities. They are really broken. Especially if you put them together with certain crafts then yeah, you got a really powerful servant. Other than that, uh, I looked more into the whole summer variation of her. I have to admit, it's ironic that her and Castor Artoria actually switch classes with Artoria being a berserker in her summer form and Morgan being a caster though I am interested in one thing considering that Morgan's summer design looks like a younger version of herself making me wonder if her summer variation is not the Morgan we know 
but a Lily version of her. Yeah, you really need to look into the Japanese one. The Japanese version of the game, because the image is right there. And they both have pretty freaking broken designs. And abilities. <laughs> when I mean broken, I do mean freaking broken. Because those two have abilities to take down divine, non-divine, and so much more beings. It's to the point that I think that they beat their own regular versions. The only thing I could say is that Artoria's summer form became more of an anti-unit, while Morgan still has the anti-army. So, eh, plus and downs, plus and downs, I have to say. But uh, for all those that do have Morgan or don't plan to get her a Noble Phantasm 2, believe me, I'm tempted to do it. I learned as well, after checking the photo for the banners, that uh, I can't really spend the same quartz for a second Morgan. Because coming next month will be. Castor Artori appearing, so for all those that want to keep their same courts and save up as much as they can to get Castor Artoria for better or worse, you gotta save them now. And with the Lost Belt 3 banner coming soon for the road to 7. It might be for best to do that. To save as much as you can because I'm going to spam that banner. I'm going to spam that banner until I get Castor Artoria because she is going to be literal help for the upcoming 6.5 event. Which is basically... something it's supposedly involving a new berserker uh Bru Bruin Hill? Bru I, I don't I, I i don't remember her name on the top of my head but from what i heard it, she's six she is siegfried's wife so yeah be on the lookout for that one i heard that she is a very powerful Berserker that you need to get. And yeah. I'm not joking, she's top tier from what many people have been saying as a servant. I believe she's an anti-unit when it comes to her Noble Phantasm. I don't know. But yeah, with this said, this is my update on what's going on and uh, yeah so i hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and i'll see you all in the next one bye <laughs>
ンベ隊展開承知いたしました道を開けし
ドラクト承知いたしましたお前が